So on component close-up recently, we've had a look at some components that look a bit like vacuum tubes or valves, but they're not. We had a look at one that was a quartz crystal and one that was a light-dependent resistor. Let's have a look at some semiconductors. I thought we'd take a look at some power transistors today. This is a TO3 power transistor. Not a popular package anymore. This is a very popular component, the 2N3055 power transistor. This is quite a modern one. They're still being made. It dates back to the 1960s in its earliest form. This is a one made by ST, um, which I got as a spare part. I bought this to replace a, one that had failed in a power supply. It's a big metal can. There's a metal plate at the bottom. There's a metal can on top. The plate here is collector and the two pins you can see sticking up there are emitter and base. That blue insulating ring there, or disc, that's actually glass. It's a little glass blob which has been put in there to insulate the pins. And of course it's completely sealed. The, the whole point of a component like this with a, um, a semiconductor silicon chip inside it, you have to keep the environment out, you have to keep the damp and um, and, and, and the air out of the thing to keep it uh, sealed. Now that's, as I say, that, that's a, a modern one. If we go back a little bit, we can see uh, here's one made by eight, I think, eight merged with SGS and SGS merged with Thompson and that's SGS Thompson, that's ST. So this is probably a kind of uh, earlier version um, made by effectively the same company. That's one of the used one. Uh, if you go right the way back, we have here one which is going ever so slightly rusty by the looks of things, but this is made by RCA. So there's a 2N3055 NPN power transistor silicon, um, 115 watts or something, the, the rating of these things. Um, can't make out a date code on that, but you can see from the rustiness of it, it's quite an old one. Very, very similar. The package hasn't changed since the 60s, maybe even earlier than that. So this is a very early power transistor package. Just to confuse you, there are others that look the same, but are smaller. So this is a TO66 power transistor. Very, very unusual to see these nowadays. They're not, I don't think, made anymore. Um, maybe as replacement parts, but I don't think modern transistors are designed into these packages. So the TO3 is the big one. The TO66 is the small one. Underneath, it's very similar to the TO3. It's got the two bolting down mounting holes, the two little glass insulators, two pins. Again, the canister or metal casing is collector and the pins are base and emitter. This one is a BD124 uh, by the looks of it. Um, BD, I think that will be silicon. Um, but they certainly made germanium parts in these kind of packages. So as time passed, it was decided really to, as usual, make it smaller, make it cheaper to manufacture, all the other things that you'd expect in the electronics industry. And so we have this um, type of packaging, the TO220. This is a fairly old TO220, I'd say, uh, a TIP121. Uh, I think this is a Darlington NPN power transistor. This has got the metal slab on the back to bolt it down, bolt hole to bolt it down with, but it's got the three leads now. We've got uh, all three leads are brought out of the package, emitter, base and collector. I believe that the tab is still electrically collector and I think if you put them side by side, it's not that different in terms of of size, you could imagine, yeah, you could bolt that down with the same bolt hole and you might even be able to make only a minor change to the layout to get the thing to fit. So it is a lot smaller, of course, and 
There's a big plastic chunk here rather than any glass in the packaging. Um, there are similar packages like this. This one's got some metal on the back. Metal obviously for heat uh, conduction as this thing's going to get hot. Three leads. This one is a BD um, 678. I don't know what number package that is. That's not a TO220 because it hasn't got the metal tab um, in quite the same way as a TO220. Um, there are all sorts of variants. Here is a TO220 in green. I don't know why they made this in green. This is made by uh, Hitachi. It's got their logo on. It's a 2SB727. It might be it's a PNP transistor. And that's why it's green. I, I don't really know why you should need to distinguish with the color of the epoxy. Um, you can see there the shape of the, the metal part versus the the plastic part all locked together nicely so that the thing doesn't come apart and again completely sealed up. Uh, larger transistors like this one uh, in a again a plastic and metal um, combination package something like this I think this is out of an old switchboard power supply again uh, still being made this way and if you compare that with the TO3 that might even fit I think you could bend the leads of this down into the holes that those leads came out of and I think it would fit I've got an idea that was an in intended design to to make a plastic um, modern package with the metal backing that could go into exactly the same PCB or the same heatsink hole pattern as the TO3. Um, now the TO3, if you didn't want the collector, which is the metal backing here, to be attached to the heatsink, heatsink would then be perhaps live, perhaps at, at, at some higher voltage than you would necessarily want. If you wanted to ground your heatsink, you'd have to insulate your transistor from the heatsink, but still um, conduct the heat away. So there were various things available to, to do that. Often there was a, a kind of a washer um, that would fit on the back of this thing. This is an example of a ceramic spacer. Look how thick that is. That might well be capable of, of withstanding hundreds or even thousands of volts. As an, as an electrical insulator but it, if you the feel of the thing it feels cold it's actually quite a good conductor of heat I don't know what material this is it may be beryllium oxide I don't know exactly whether this is I got an idea beryllium oxide is pink and it's something that you really should be careful of because it can be toxic I don't think this is beryllium oxide as I say I think that's pink um, but you can see it's made to fit onto the TO3 outline and you bolt it down and the whole thing is insulated. So that's a look at some components that one doesn't see all that often anymore. The TO3 power transistor, the TO66 power transistor, slightly smaller, same funny shape, and some of the earlier TO220s that have got this metal slab on the back. So, nice close-up look at some power transistors. There we go.